Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 1.1. So, we got a few problems to do here. And if you remember dimensional analysis, you'll know that we've got a few problems to do. So, let's get right to it. <laughs> I hate units and want to cancel, kill them. Convert 0. 0.0035 weeks into seconds. So, what you do is you start out by writing down your given 0, 0035 weeks, and I want to convert that into seconds. Hey, Moore, can you give me a calculator? Get my calculator out of the drawer, please. And I want to go into seconds. So a lot of people write down what you're trying to get into over here. So I don't know how many seconds are in a week. So what I do first is I know I want to kill weeks. So I put weeks down there, and I have to convert it into something else that I know how to convert it into, like days. Thank Hi. You. Thank you, Moore. So seven days equal one week. These things have to equal each other, so I'm really multiplying by one, and I'm just changing the units. So if I have seven-fourths times four-ninths, you know you can cancel that. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Um, so our days, now we want to get rid of days. Remember, our goal is to get to weeks. So days, we're going to change into hours. So one day is 24 hours. My days cancel because they're diagonal. Then I have hours, and I hate you hours, and I want to go into seconds. Now, I'm going to make the leap of faith that you guys can follow that one hour is 3,600 seconds because you're in an AP course, and you're brilliant. So 60 times 60 is how I got 3,600. 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. But if you can make that jump, it's nice to know that you have a teacher that just as long as you show work that's reasonable, we can do that. I don't think there's a lot more that you would know you could sell me on. So then I'm going to do the math. 0. 0.0035 times 7 times 24 times 3,600. Except for I hit 2,600, so I know my answer's wrong. 0. 0.0035 times 7 times 24 times 3,600. And I get 2116 seconds. Okay. Now, the best answer, because my given unit has two sig figs, is to put this into two sig figs, which means two non-zero numbers, basically. 2,100 seconds. Okay. Easy peasy. A cheetah runs 112 kilometers an hour. Convert that into millimeters a day. 112 kilometers. Instead of doing kilometers per hour, what... The unit you see in almost all of the books now, and I've got to change my stuff, is kilometers to negative one hours, which means hours go on the bottom. So it's kilometers over hours. Technically one hour, I'll put it there this time, but you don't have to. And I want to go to millimeters a day. I'll put that here so I know when I'm done. I like to change the, f the top unit first. So I hate you, kilometers. And I want to go into millimeters, but I don't know how many there are. If you think you know how many millimeters in a kilometer, you're lying to me. But it's a good try. So how many meters are in a kilometer? There are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. Boom, boom. Times dividing bar. Now I hate you meters, and I want to go into millimeters. And there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Boom, boom. So right now my units are millimeters over hours. Now I want to change my hours to days. So I want to kill hours, so I put it diagonally. And I want to go into days. And I hope you know there are 24 hours in a day. Sometimes it seems longer. Sometimes it seems shorter. I won't say when it seems longer. AP Psych. So I'm doing the math. Um, 112 times 1,000 times 1,000 times 24. And I get ooh, a big number. I wish my, my calculator turned into scientific notation. But if you notice, I have three sig figs. So it's going to be 2.69 E. And I count my zeros now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. E9 millimeters. Notice I get rid of my hours. Millimeters are left. And I'm going to write it the weird way so you get used to it. Day is the negative one. An ant hill in my yard is 3.54 centimeters cubed. What is the volume in meters cubed? So 3.54 centimeters cubed. Now put your pens down and just relax and enjoy this. So I'm going to show you the slow way first. I don't want you to copy, so you'll appreciate the fast way. So you go, okay, I know you're going to hate centimeters and go into meters, and I know there's 100 centimeters in a meter. Now, you'd think that would work and that would be it, but that only cancels my cubed to a squared. So then I have to do it again. Uh, I want to cancel centimeters again, go into meters again, 1, 100, that changed my squared to a 1. I do it again, 1 meter, 
100 centimeters. Cancel my centimeters totally now. And I would get 3.54 divided by a hundo, divided by a hundo, divided by a hundo. And I would get 3.54 e negative 6 meters cubed. So now the shortcut for that is 3.54 centimeters cubed. If I wanted to do meters, I don't want to go into meters. I want to go to meters cubed. And I want to go into centimeters cubed. So if I'm doing that, I can then cube my numbers, and I will get the same answer of 3.54 e negative 6 meters cubed. And it's a good thing to know e negative 6 would be a millionth. So you should know 6s are million or millionth, well, or million, and 9 is billion. There you go. A water clock with a radius of 5 centimeters loses 3.55 centimeters of height in 7 seconds. What is the rate in kilometers cubed per minute? <gasps> so notice I've got a centimeter. That's the radius. That's the height in 7 seconds. So what I need to do, this is a water clock. Only ours is a cylinder instead of a um, funnel. So I need to find the area of that. So I have basically have a circle. So how do you find the sorry volume of that? So if it has a radius of this, the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared. If you forgot that, it came back to you. So and then times height. So volume equals pi r squared h. So that means notice all my units are in centimeters, which is okay. Pi r squared. I'm going to go ahead and make the jump of calling that 25 right away. And then the height is 3.55. And I'll get that into a real number. So 3.14, I know I could use the pi button. I don't know where it is. Times 25 times 3.55 is 2. That's 2. 278.675. I don't round yet because I only want to round once. Now, that's going to be in 7 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to get an answer for that. I'm just going to put it right here. And then I'm going to change that per 7 seconds, right? So before, remember how it was 1 hour? Where did that go? Where's my little cheetah? Where's my little cheetah? See, it was 1 hour. Here, it's per 7 seconds. So I'm going to change this. Say something about what? The giant drop. The giant drop, okay. I went on, I went on the giant drop in Great America. So centimeters cubed. It was awesome. It was awesome. I screamed three times. Centimeters cubed, and I want to go into meters cubed. And one cubed, centimeters cubed. And now that I'm in meters cubed, I want to go into kilometers cubed. And that's going to be one cubed, 1,000 cubed. Notice how these numbers are going to get huge. And then we want to do it per minute. So then I have 60 seconds and one minute. Okay, so notice my seconds diagonally is how you cross them out. Centimeters cubed diagonally crosses out. Diagonally crosses off. I'm left with kilometers cubed per minute. Okay, I didn't mean to cross that out. So 278.765 divided by 7 divided by 100 cubed divided by 1,000. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Divided by 1,000 cubed um, times 60. And I get 2.39. Do I have three sig figs? Oh, that seven seconds kind of ruins it. So I guess I should say 2 e negative 12. Yes. And that is, oh, that would be kilometers cubed per minute. Ding. Man, I can have that back. Things to know. One centimeter cubed equals one milliliter. Density of water is one gram per milliliter. Water's density can change with temperature, but that is rarely used. It is used sometimes. There's been a trick question or two in the past, but not used much anymore. Conversion factors are definitions and have an infinite number of sig figs. Always run a three sig figs in AP Chemistry or AP Bio or AP Physics. In review. That means we get to jam some more. In review. If you cube the unit, cube the numerical conversion factor. Split units cancel the top, and then separately cancel the bottom. You know deci, centi, milli, micro. 
and nano. So go here to learn about unit amazingness for extra credit on your pod quiz. And then all you have to do is just describe it a little bit. So it is pretty cool. I think you'll like it. And with that, I'll say toodles.